Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dickity. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Bate Toshko. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Style. I guess Style 3A, Team Nag. I'm not familiar with Team Nag. If you guys are out there and know about Team Nag, let me know. We got Pink Protoss versus also Pink Protoss. So a double alliteration, but at least it's two colors of pink that are differentiatable. Anyway, I'm recording this as of April 22nd, 2021. And it is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to everybody. Also, coincidentally, it is, I think, the height of the Lyrid meteor shower, so I've been into astronomy recently, so go ahead and check that out, although the moon is a little bit full. I tried to catch it when the moon was less crazy when it had just started up uh, at kind of a cool location near me, but didn't really see... I've seen other shooting stars recently, didn't see any shooting stars there. But anyway, go out there, make your wishes. Uh, speaking of wishes, I know people wanted me to create playlist. That was kind of an interesting maneuver. I wonder if he was thinking about cheese and then decided against it. We'll see. Speaking of playlists, anyway, the, uh, actually, that was kind of non sequitur there. People have been asking for playlists or non-spoiler videos, and I think a way to make this work for both of us is for me to just upload videos less often. No gateway. Wow. Okay, we'll see how this goes. We do have a gateway this side, so I still think we might be, okay, there's a late gateway. Styles is playing kind of odd here. I feel like he's up to something, I'm not sure what. He keeps maneuvering like he's up to something. We'll keep an eye on there. Anyway, I'm just gonna upload a video per day. Uploading multiple videos at a time is actually a little bit annoying because they don't upload in an order I like. I'll keep adding them to the playlist, but that way it's kind of spoiler free. You don't know if game two leads to a game three if you're trying to keep extra track. And I think most people that want the spoiler free sort of stuff are watching it first day. Otherwise, I'll keep adding it to the playlist and I'll try to remember to add that playlist in the very first video along the way so people can keep track. I'm gonna try that way for a bit and see how it goes. Love feedback on that exact concept, and let me guys, let me know if you guys see any meteors. Well, sorry about this one today. I'm feeling a bit laggy today. I had this is I like this. So because of this probe in this line, this is actually a counter manner pro, uh, a, a counter manner pylon, essentially to make sure that a manner pylon cannot be blocked. So basically, what Styles is indicating here is, is I don't want to have to deal with your probe. But at the same time, I'm not really going to try to counter it. So we'll see if he actually takes this zealot and still goes after that probe. No, he's just, yeah, okay, he is going to go for it. So I'm almost wondering if he was opting to be a little bit more aggressive with that zealot right off the bat. This is going to be two gateway versus one with a very late assimilator. I think Styles' build, just because he's just off this game. The way he's playing is a bit how I feel commentating this right this second. He is just off. Uh, and I think that might cost him the match, honestly. Going one gate on a map without any ramp support... He's going to have to pull probes to defend this, honestly. And this is one zealot's already on the front door. Maybe he'll be able to swing this because Bate has pushed forward a little bit too far with this initial zealot. But what he can do with this zealot, again, with this blockade, is force Styles to kind of micro on this front door, or at least keep him on his toes. This probe in the back corner might be the X factor. We'll see more zealots being produced from Bate off this two gate. Again, this is no ramp support. There's the second gateway. This is the cybernetics core just coming online. It's three, two, sorry, three zealots, one probe. Three Zealots, actually no support probe, coming from the other corner, so actually I take it back where I felt like Styles' build order was a little bit late and off. Now, Bate not having the support troops to really engage this, and as a result, because he went to Gateway in a much later cybernetic score, I think that's going to swing things back in Styles' favor. Because he kind of he he did the early two gate, but then he didn't really commit with additional Zealots. Ooh, Zealot sneaking in, taking some free damage from Bate as well. So as as sloppy as I felt like Styles' build order was towards the beginning, it looks like he might actually be able to sneak out with this. Pylons being placed in various corners just to check for any sort of proxy or sneaky tech. Styles is starting to pump Dragoons, and this is way ahead. Well, not that ahead. This is in a decent enough position where we'll see if he ends up... Huh. It's kind of interesting that that ended up... Whatever. Point being, things have stabilized. <laughs> Everything's okay! Uh, Zealot's running in. It looks like that probe. The one advantage that Styles has here is that he... Is this a self? That's weird. It's not showing up on the map. So that's a proxy pylon. But I guess it's not showing the correct color comparatively. So the pylon... So probe able to get some damage before it is pulled out of the base. And that does disrupt a little bit mining, but I don't think that's an overall win because in the speed... That's a very late proxy pylon, first of all, and you lose 33 minerals when you do that cancellation. So I don't think there was really anything gained from that overall. 
this is what I was more expecting right here in the mid game is that Styles with the superior Dragoon count and a superior, or at least an equivalent army, would be able to go up and do a little bit of harassment. But right now, as things are standing, it looks like he's doing some harassment, but is outnumbered and needs to be careful because that is four Zealots and two Dragoons chasing down just three Dragoons. And if he gets caught in a corner, that will be that. Plus additional Dragoons at a closer reinforcement point pushing this out. So Styles might have made a misstep. Now he's running some Zealots forward, seeing this army out of position, thinking he might be able to sneak underneath. He is setting up to take his own natural expansion, but is not... Got, he has a robo, it looks like. Ooh, Dragoon getting caught out in the field. And it's like both armies are scattered at the moment. But critically, the three Dragoons have managed to sneak underneath. They are going to be able to see the three gate. Both players do have range running. And so these three... Wow. So these three Dragoons sneak underneath, but that is going to be three lost Dragoons, I think. Unless they get three equivalent kills in a handful of probes. Which could swing things. Ooh, interrupting gas. Probes pulling off the line. So that's actually a big win. And the rest of the army pulling forward now from Styles. So Styles is like, okay, these three Dragoons got trapped, but I made it into the base. I got the scout. Let's just press this forward and keep the pressure on see what we can do. Three Dragoons down. The rest of the army is here, but severely outnumbered. Styles sitting at, looking to take a natural expansion, so he doesn't have anything to support this. So he's actually in trouble if he loses this army, to be honest. And it looks like Bate is just repositioning and re-engaging, and he wants to take this army out. And actually, if he does a cutoff here, he is going to get these three Zealots. So yeah, woo, kind of odd and back and forth right here. These three Zealots are going to get taken out. The rest of the Zealots pushing forward to box out the rest of the Dragoons, but... These are This is three gateways, keep in mind, and Bate's been sitting at two. Does he have his robo up yet? No. No robotic support bay. He went for Nexus. So now he is behind an army. He's behind in his ability to produce. He is up two probes, but I don't think it's going to matter because this is just an overwhelming force that Bate has on the ground now. Playing a little bit off in this winner's match. And he really needs to cancel this Nexus, get a forge or something else. I think he, I mean, he saw the three gates. He saw the three gates. And he's just now trying to get his third gate. That's going to be GG, I think. Bate just has to A-move his way in. I, this is just too many Dragoons to stop this. Uh, yeah. Two probes coming off the line. Three probes coming off the line. But the Zelts are going to be on top of them momentarily. The Zelts trying to box off the rest of this. This is nice play from Styles, Trying to provide some distraction engagement. Some, but honestly, it just it's too little too late, in my opinion. Working on that pylon now. That pylon is going to provide a little bit of distraction. But... Yeah, it doesn't make a bit of difference, guys, to give the classic meme uh, thing. And now, yeah, and he still has not canceled that Nexus. He's just going to let it float. Three, wow. Yeah, that's GG. Honestly, I'm not sure why Styles is still uh, fighting in this match, because there's no way, there's no amount of probes that would have been able to get him out of this deficit, I don't think. Plus, reinforcements coming across the field. Bate is setting up for his own Nexus, just in case he wants it. But honestly, I feel like he can finish the game with just the units he has in his base. Down to 18 probes, 17 probes um, from Styles. So I'm going to call it here. I'm going to say that uh, game one is going to go to Bate, barring an absolute miracle from, like, maybe a mis- You could try that. I wonder if you could do this in tournament, if you could do that. Uh, have you ever seen the disconnect ch trick where it's like, block, you know, GG, da-da-da, is disconnected, and then you don't actually exit to see if the opponent future pulled that off uh, a while ago. So game one goes to Bate. We will hop into game two for the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, let me know feedback. So first of all, let me know if you see any shooting stars. Uh, secondarily, let me know uh, how you feel about the playlist versus daily upload thing, and we'll play it by ear as it goes. Hopefully things will all work out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.